Oh my god, it's been forever. <laughs> Hi girl, welcome. <laughs> You know you know how those other YouTubers do it. Hi girl, welcome back to Mayumi TV. If you're new here, my name is Mayumi and just like you, I'm in the journey towards getting it together. So if you're interested in videos about self-improvement, plus size videos included, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside it so you're updated every time there's a new video like this one. For today's video, we have another Shein Curve plus size try on haul. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. <laughs> We have a new background because I relocated back home in the Philippines for good, for now. After being in Singapore for the past 10 years, a lot of the things in my wardrobe are crop tops or tank tops, which I'm not necessarily confident would be Philippine friendly, at least in terms of like commuting and traveling and things like that. And you know what that means? That means we have a Shein Curve Plus Size try on haul. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Fair to say that a lot of these pieces are not the usual things that I would order. A lot of them are covered up, comfortable, and <laughs> modest. <laughs> So just to be on the safer side, I'll test the market. I'll, I'll test the environment in terms of the weather. The weather is different, the culture is different, and the forms of transport would be different. I don't know how my new style will be. I would call this my experimental stage, you know. I'm still gonna experiment on my style and see what would work in terms of my routine and lifestyle here. With all of these changes, one thing that I'm so grateful for is I still have my hands on Shein and y'all know I love them because they are affordable, they are trendy, and most importantly, they are inclusive. So let's get started. All right, oh my gosh, uh, there's a few things here. Oh, by the way, the sleeper that I'm wearing right now is also from Shein. It's one of the first pieces that I ordered from them. I'll try to link it down below. And also, if you want to buy anything from Shein, no matter what it is, you can use my code Mayumi or Mayumi15 for extra 15% discount. Now let's start. All right, let's start with two pieces that I would think is more of my style. It, okay, so let's start. What do we have to start with? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh my goodness. Where is it? Hey, where, where, where could it be? It's a tank top. How could it be gone? What the f uh, oh, there you go. Found it. <laughs> Okay, let me ease you in. I don't want to shock you with how modest these pieces are. <laughs> so I'll show you the first two items that it is within my style. So the first one is this. It's giving cottage core top. It is see-through from behind and it has bra-like clasps, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven clasps. And it has that very sweet neckline that accentuates your, your babies, I would say. I love this neckline. It's very sweet. It's giving soft girl. It's giving cottage core. It's giving baby girl, which honestly, I wish I was baby girl. <laughs> And it has this puffy sleeves. It is very romantic. It is sage green and in white. It has boning as well and perfect triangular hemline that accentuates your waist. I love this. Next is another top that I find so romantic. It is floral i would say i don't want to make mistakes in what type of flowers these are i like the color combination i feel like it's so romantic the cut is quite similar to the first one that i showed you but this one doesn't have real boning it's just fake for, <laughs> for mm, fall okay that's a better term that sounds more chic <laughs> it's fall boning but it also has a triangular hemline that is more accentuated than the first one it has puffy sleeves the puffy sleeves are longer than the first one that I showed you, you see through. It has a very fine mesh like cloth on the sleeves. I feel like this shape just really accentuates your babies and your softer curves, feminine curves. So yeah. <laughs> So 
those are the two tops that are within my comfort zone, I would say. The reason why I got this was because I had an event that I needed to look more formal and I've really used them over and over for all the events because you can just mix it with shorts or longer skirts if you're going to formal events and it still looks divine. <laughs> Are we ready for this? All right, it's funny like I'm more comfortable showing some skin and really Accentuating my curves than hiding them. So it's quite Uncomfortable for me to wear something that's covered up or baggy clothes I would say to figure out a sweet spot for comfort Not just with how I would move around but more on not really being worried about the eyes that I get because end of the day I'm still in Asia and <laughs> I have to tone it down a bit, I guess. Or I would say that it's different for different occasions. That's a better way of putting it, yeah. All right, so this one is totally not my style. It's a vest, it's very trendy, I would say. Two-piece suit. I don't usually lean towards tan or neutral colors. So this is really something new for me. It is very tailored. It is also a crop top, so I guess that's uh, something within my realm. <laughs> It is paired with trousers that are high-waisted. So for all my girlies that want to feel like you're showing some skin without really having to show a lot of skin, this is perfect for y'all. It has folds in the tummy area, which is great for us with large bellies. But for me, just a personal preference, I prefer my trousers to be tight on my belly instead of making it baggy so that um, the eyes are first not drawn to it and second, it doesn't look or appear bigger than it already is. So I'm not really a fan of that but what's good about this is that even if I gain weight I'm confident that I can still keep these trousers. Zippers are on the sides. It's quite long, it's tailored. This set is great even if you choose to wear it separately. item is a staple. I make sure I buy this every time I order from Shein, which is a pair of jeans. This is extremely stretchable. It is on the darker side of blue. It is not skinny jeans because, you know, Gen Z says skinny jeans are out. <laughs> But the millennial in me really prefers the skinny jeans. But you know, it's my experimentation era, I guess. So I gave it a chance. It's not that bad. And um, I think probably it needs to be a bit more baggy on the legs if I am going for style. But in terms of comfort, this does the job perfectly. Speaking of Gen Z's and someone that is very young at heart, I got a varsity jacket. I had one of these when I was in uni, so it is very nostalgic for me to own one again. And it has the letter M for my Yumi in here. It is black and white. I feel so athletic and young whenever I wear this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't look at the materials on the Shein website, but it has this very thick, mm, what do you call this? A thick type of, <laughs> for the lack of a better term, I would call it as thick type of cloth. <laughs> on the inside which would keep you warm since i'm in the philippines it's quite cold here at night especially if you are traveling in the province and whatnot so this would just be perfect my worry was this was not gonna fly in singapore but surprisingly it's not that hot so i guess it just depends on your body temperature but for the style honestly it's all worth it <laughs> Next thing I got is black trousers and this is quite safe, I know, but I was already out of my comfort zone. I knew what styles worked for me. It's for me to get basics that I don't usually gravitate towards is already Let's just say it felt foreign. So I just chose whatever basic there would be so that I can just mix and match. And I'm very happy with this because I can wear this for formal events or if I would, I don't know, even for traveling. I can wear this for smart casual outfits or I can wear them for work-related stuff too. So it's pretty flexible. You can never go wrong with black trousers.
Next is this shorts that appear as a skirt in front. It has a slit in front. The zipper is on the side. It's a perfect length for me. It is also high-waisted. And the best part is I can wear it casually or semi-formal events because it's all black, so it's quite flexible. I've worn this for a lot of celebrations that are quite formal. It's just a matter of how you style them. Yay! Again, another safe choice. A lot of the things that I ordered are quite safe and on the comfortable and basic side. Now, the last two items, which I think would be the highlight of the entire haul, I got two baggy pants. Um, I'm into, oh no, I have another one. Okay, before that. <laughs> It's funny. I know you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you would know this isn't usually my style. Girl, this isn't usually my style. The next thing I got is an oversized tee. <laughs> what? My Yumi in a t-shirt? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do wear t-shirts, right? Uncomfortable days, but it's not something that I would actively seek out for, so... <laughs> I love this. We all love character development, we all love evolution, and we love an experimental queen who's open to things, right? <laughs> Alright, so next one is an oversized tee. It has a skeleton print, which I really love. She has a lot of items that they are selling on their website. I'm so glad I found this. This is from Romwe, which I would say is more on their youthful brand. They offer a lot of grunge and punk styles, which is definitely up my alley. If you feel like your options are quite limited for oversized t-shirts, the same way as I felt mine was, I recommend going through the men's stuff because they are great too. The last two items that I got for this haul, I would say would be my favorite. It is so Gen Z, so out of my comfort zone. It is a style that I experimented with uh, when I was in my pre-teens because that's when the peak of this style was. Back in my day, <laughs> that's so old, but back when I was 12, what we used to call these are elephant pants. <laughs> where you're just walking around the streets, sweeping the streets of all the trash because it's meant to be baggy. And I think that's what it's called now. It's baggy. So I am in my camo era too, and I love these pants. They're very well used. They're cargo pants. So when I wear them, I don't have to bring any purse because the pockets are limited, girl. Pockets are limited. It's quite loose and big for me because the bag is carterized, so I have to be wary about how heavy the items would be in my pants. I don't wear belt, maybe I should. Easily fixed, easily fixed. This one is in camo green. It's jeans. It gives you that well-worn out style, which is just adds to the look. Usually as a curvy plus size woman, I stay away from anything baggy. But since we're experimenting with styles, I love this if it is the proper length for you. This is quite long for me, so I wear it with heels and just make sure that I top it with something more feminine. I know the Gen Z's prefer to partner this with baggy shirts, but I don't know, it just doesn't give my curves justice. So, okay, I'll wear baggy pants, but top's gonna be feminine. This is the best compromise I can make. <laughs> With the camouflage baggy pants, I also got army green version. This is in a different style. I think this has more pockets. Oh God, the utility. Oh, I love this. I love the color. I love that I can pair it with so many things. I love how comfortable it is and there's so many pockets. But if there was one thing that I wish I could change is that I don't really like that the zipper is in white because there are some angles if I'm taking photos and whatnot that mm, I'm quite conscious because it looks like my undies are showing so that is 
it for today girls thank you very much for hanging out with me if you want to see more please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and as i said i have relocated so there are a few lifestyle changes that i'm making so expect videos that are quite on a different side i am starting this healing diaries or midlife crisis diaries <laughs> i guess some videos are already up by today and yeah i hope to see you on my next one kisses oh my god my knee